All right, team, welcome back. Professor Mike, Coach T. Wednesday today. If you saw our sweep yesterday, the knee tap, I hope you've enjoyed it. You need to know Monday's technique, which is getting to that position, the checkmate position, I call it, popularized by Lucas Leitch. Okay, in competition, won world titles doing this over and over again. I love it, it's such a strong position. When we get the hip, we know pretty much 100% we've got a sweep, all right? But we need counters. So yesterday we looked at the knee tap. What happens if we can't reach the knee? What happens if our opponent drives back in? Well, we've got what I call the under over sweep. All right, I'm gonna give you two variations today. Starting with the failed knee tap. Okay, so we're gonna go through again our position here. Two on one, block the cross face. Hunt with the elbow, not the arm. Elbow does the work underneath the armpit. Flare it open, bridge and knee. Get to the hip. This is key, okay? Still defending the cross face to a point where I get the hip at that point, my elbow comes in. All right, just swing round all the way around for the police coach team. One very kind of, it's a key detail really, but this only comes with time in the position. Just watch my, watch my feet, okay? As they get to this position, watch how I kind of cross a little bit, just to control, if I get like a bit of a, a bit of a lockdown position on this leg, momentarily. Because what I've learned in doing this is, is as I bridge here, my opponent can jump over my leg, here, or into the mouth. So what I like to do is I bridge them in, just come to this mini lockdown, momentarily. Just until I can do my leg work to come out. Alright, that's a key detail. Again, please go see the other round. All right, so I've won the hip. Elbows in, done my leg work. Come out. I'm gonna dive for the knee tap. There's two things that can happen. Either my opponent moves his knee away, I can't reach. That's fine. I'll build base and still drive. And I'll find it in the end. Okay, what happens then is, nine times out of 10, as I start to drive, my opponent will push back in. Right, and that's the momentum I'm gonna, gonna use. You'll see Coach T's arm around my back here. He hasn't got a wizard because I'm too low on the hip. He's just covering there, okay? Don't worry about that. So we go in here. As we drive, our opponent pushes back in. This knee is gonna dive through. And what this knee does is shelve my opponent's lower knee now, the right knee. Takes it off the mat. I'm connected still to the hip, okay? And I can roll through to here. Okay, now, we need to keep this leg off the mat. What I do is I pummel through. I'll show you this in a second. Come over the top. Here, we're off camera, so let's move back. Go this way, please go to Okay, so I'm in this dogfight position. Okay, as I drive, he drives through, this knee's gonna dive under and take my opponent's near leg off the mat. Shelve it, look, roll all the way. Okay, we're in the position here. Now key, my outside leg now pummels through. Here, be careful for leg locks, as long as I pummel through, I can even pummel the far leg as well. That's quite a nice, quite a nice thing to do. So from here, I'll pummel through, far leg, come up to like a leg drag position. Now I can start to solidify my position. If I want the back, I'll run round to the back. Again, exactly as we did yesterday. You've got loads of options, it's up to you. The key thing is to do the leg work on the way up to make sure that we dominate the hip line again. All right, one more time all the way through. Then we'll look at variation number two. Okay, apparently here is gonna apply pressure, block, win the underhook, win the hip, hide the elbow, do the leg work, come up, dive for the knee, push us back in, collapse this near side knee. Keep rolling, there's nothing they can do to stop it. If he plants his leg like he will, no problem, come underneath. All the way through. Still got the hip. Still got a grip on this far side. He cannot hip escape. He cannot turn towards me, he has to roll. Which favors me coming through here. Near side underhook. Fork, fork, fork. Elbow work. Back, every time. Every single time. 
provided you stay connected to that hip. So that's a great option when you want to go for the knee tap, opponent drives forward, cut the corner with the knee, roll this way. Okay, but what happens? We can use a similar kind of type of sweep, a little bit more technical, a bit slower, when we fight for the underhook, but our opponent pushes back down. Okay, it looks like this. Exactly the same work here. I win the underhook. As I come through to bridge, he flattens me out. As he's flattening me, this hand now is going to pummel deep, and I throw my head towards the hip. I aim to bring my opponent's leg towards me. You can grab his belt, you can grab the collar, you can just hold it here. But I'm pulling it in towards me. All right. I now do my leg work. My bottom leg now is going to do a forward hip escape. Okay, you're going to need a couple. I'm aiming to bring my opponent's hips on top of me. Even if you post on this far side, which you will, both hands, doesn't matter. If I keep moving, I'm going to end up in this kind of over under pass position. All right, I call it the kind of under over, an over hook and an under hook on the leg. You'll end up and you'll, provided you keep forward hip escaping, you'll beat that far post. All right, one more time. Half guard, everything's solid. Win the underhook, go to come up, he piles pressure forward. Dive, collect this leg. Let's say he comes to this side, he's gonna to wanna to drive that way. That's fine, do my leg work. Forward hip escape, forward hip escape. Keep going, you're always gonna win. You've got the hip position. All right, when we get here, keep working to a position where we've got, see my hand still, on the hip. So we've got this control, and then you can either switch to over the pass if you want, knee bar options, all sorts of good stuff, or again, come along the knee. That's what I'd probably do. Shelve the legs, heavy pressure with the shoulder, win the hip on the far side, look to pass. Total control. Okie doke. Two options from the under overpass from the half guard. One, where we use our opponent's momentum in the dogfight. One where we create the position ourselves. Hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.